Glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. Good morning, saints. Welcome to Morning Manor with Apostle Juliana. Jesus is Lord. Today, we are still talking about favor, activating the favor of God, part three. Before we start, I just want us to pray. Just raise your hands with mine. Let's just pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. We give you honor, we give you praise. We say blessed and honor be it your holy name. We adore you. We exalt your holy name. Thank you for life. Thank you for sustenance. Thank you for this new week. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for now are we the children of God. We thank you, Lord, that now we are partakers and participators of your divine nature. We give you honor. We give you praise. We adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All glory to God. Yes, we are still talking about favor and activating favor. In our lives, I'm just going to we'll say some things before we, we, we start. Yes, favor. God wants us to have favor. And God wants favor to be activated in our lives. I'm just going to read scripture. Job chapter 10, verse 12. If we go to Job chapter 10, verse 12. My Bible tells me that thou hast granted me favor and granted me life and favor. Thou and thou visited that visitation has preserved my spirit. So there Job was saying, God had granted him favor. That's your prayer. That's your declaration. Yes, you know, this month and as we go to the end of this week, we hear that the favor of God will be mighty upon us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I also want to read Psalms 5 verse 12. 5, Psalms 5 verse 12 tells us, For thou, thou Lord, will be, <clears throat> will bless the righteous with favor will thou compass him as a shield with favor will they compass him as a field we want to thank him that favor will encompass us will surround us as a shield in this season in jesus name hallelujah glory to jesus i want to declare upon your life that the favor of god will surround you in the name of the lord jesus christ wherever you go May you, he visit you with his favor. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Every country, every land, every project he has ordained you to do. May you be favored by God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. May people favor you. May you be favored every season and every time. In the morning, in the midnight, in the midday and in the night. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, I speak financial favor to be your portion. I speak unusual spiritual favor for God to meet you and to, to meet your desires. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak breakthroughs of favor. That favor comes on your path and breakthrough becomes your portion. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, favor which will bring you progress, favor which will promote you, favor which will embarrass your enemy, may it be your portion. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may you be favored by people whom you don't know, may you be favored in the courts of your enemies. In the <coughs> mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, <coughs> through the favor of God. May your expectation not be cut off in this year. In Jesus' name, amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. We said we are just talking about activating <clears throat> the favor of God. And today we are on part three. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I want, if there's somebody under the sound of my voice, to type <coughs> activation of favor hallelujah glory to jesus glory to jesus hallelujah just a minute i'll grab a, a glass of water just a minute
Amen. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for bearing with me. Yeah, now we can go on. Glory to Jesus. So we said activating favor. And last week we established that the love of God will activate the favor of God. So if the love of God is flowing in you and through you, favor will be activated on your behalf. So we gave an example of people who defile to, to, to worship other gods and they stick you know, to worshiping God and favor was activated to them. We gave an example of Daniel. You know, his, his love of God made God to activate favor for him. We talked about King Solomon. He loved God and he gave to God. And the sacrifice to God activated favor for him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So it is important that we know that forever to favor to be functional in our lives, for favor to be active in our lives, we need to make sure that we position ourselves. There are things we can also do, you know, that this favor can be activated in our lives. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So it is important for us to have breakthrough in whatever we do, no matter the skills we have. The favor of God will make life better for us. The favor of God will give us a better, better breakthrough in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Number <clears throat> today we are talking about, you know, when there is increase of wisdom, you know, you increase with favor with God. So when there is increase with wisdom, we also increase the favor with God. We want to go to scripture. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. It says, and Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in the favor with God and favor with men. What am I saying? In this journey of life, we want to be favored. We want God to favor us. But also there is a responsibility. We have to make sure that, you know, there must be increase of wisdom. There must be increase of wisdom. Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature. What did he do? You sit down, you know, you know, you know, being taught the word of God. You sit down. He learned the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Wisdom is brought full of wisdom intelligence we are talking about the wisdom of god and also the wisdom of men oh glory to jesus we also talk about divine wisdom when you are full of divine wisdom people favor you because you know what to do and when to do it glory to jesus so as we pray for ourselves we want to say lord fill me with wisdom as i'm filled with wisdom god will give us responsibility so you know how to act in high places Oh, glory to Jesus. The wisdom which was on Joseph helped Joseph to be favored in the house of Potiphar, to be given charge over the whole city. I mean, over the whole, the, the whole kingdom or the whole empire. Why? Because he was full of wisdom. So sometimes as we are praying, we just, and just pray, say, Lord, give me favor. Give me the wisdom which will make sure that, you know, Favor will fall on me. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Wisdom. The God wisdom. The earthly wisdom. It's needed. Glory to Jesus. Skills are needed. We want to pray as you are praying for your career, for your business, for the work of the ministry, whatever. God, give me wisdom. The godly wisdom. The godly wisdom, which is above every wisdom. The godly wisdom, which is better than the earthly wisdom. God, give me also this wisdom and knowledge in the field you have placed me in. Maybe in the marketplace, in the workplace. I don't know which field God has placed you in. When you've got wisdom, and understanding the favor of God will be multiplied on you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, you know, wisdom, which helps us, you know, to discover mysteries, the mysterious, the mysterious, the difficulties, you know, the difficult things, you know, you know, you know, you know answering questions. Like, you know, the way when, when, when Joseph was called, you know, to interpret that dream, when he was called to interpret the dream, that was rare wisdom 
That was rare wisdom, and that wisdom brought him promotion. In the case of Daniel as well, when the king, you know, you know, you know had, a, had a problem in interpretation as well, that wisdom helped them. What am I saying this morning? In our lives, in our situation, may God give us strange wisdom, which will make sure favor comes for you in that workplace, in that industry, in that business. May you be the source of solution in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you be the solution giver by the grace of God. As that wisdom comes your way, favor comes your way. They will not deny you, they will promote you, no matter who you are, no matter if you are in the prison. Joseph was moved from the prison and back to the to I mean to be the second you know in the kingdom why because the wisdom of God which interpreted the dream could not be resisted may God give us wisdom which cannot be resisted may God make a solution give us in industry in our nations even in this time may God give you wisdom to change a nation to change to bring solution and that wisdom will come with with favor. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. We know wisdom. It's Sophia. We've been taught about wisdom before. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So there are different types of wisdom. The wisdom of men and the wisdom of God. But what I'm saying, we need both in this season. We need both in this season. That God, if we've got that wisdom of God, it will make us to excel when we meet with people. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Intelligence, skills are coming your way specific skills that in your company in your industry they cannot ignore you than to promote you it's a season for us as believers to take place in the marketplace so that we can bring resources to the kingdom so may god give you that special skill that special understanding in your industry in wherever he has placed you in the marketplace so that you can be high so that you can be favored that whatever god has given you cannot be ignored but it will bring promotion in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ you know if you are running a business the way you handle it the way you administer your business may it be so unique may it be so unique such that people will flow to you such that people will flow to you just people who come to get your still excuse through the wisdom hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So we also want to pray. We also want just, just, just to pray for ourselves that Lord help me to have knowledge, practical solution for difficult things around me. Hey, because if you've got solution, people run out to run for you. So we have to sit down. We have to be students. We have to be studious. The Bible says in the book of Timothy, you know, you know, you know, we have to be students so that we, the workmen, we just need to be ashamed. We will be to be studious that we may not be ashamed in our industry, in whatever God has called us to be. We have to sit down. We have to relax until we've got knowledge, until we are equipped by God. When we are well equipped, people will look around for you, around the globe, around the nations. Yes, you know, your will Wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding will open doors for you. Your wisdom, your understanding will make people come for you, will make people flock to your gate in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we go to the word of God, Luke chapter 21, verse 15. Luke chapter 21, verse 15. You can go to the Amplified Version and says, For myself, I will give you a mouth and such utterance and wisdom that all your foes combined will be unable to stand against and refute. Hallelujah. I will give you wisdom. Hallelujah. I myself will give you a mouth and such utterance and wisdom. Huh? that all your foes combined will be unable to stand against you or refute. I like the way Amplified writes, writes it. All your foes combined. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that in whatever place the Lord has placed you, may God give you wisdom that all your foes combined, they can't refuse it. All your foes combined, they can't contend against you. 
Oh, your force combined. You excel. And that excellence will make you sit among kings. Glory to Jesus. And that will bring favor to you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. I want to go to the word of God again. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 12. The Bible says, it says, first 20, verse 24. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 24. It says, hallelujah, glory to Jesus. But to those who accord, whether Greek or Gentile, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Wow. Thank God you are born again. Thank God I'm born again. You are Christ is the wisdom of God. And our lives are hidden in Christ. We dwell in the secret place which is in Christ as the man of God was teaching us yesterday. And in that position, favor will come our way because wisdom comes through us in whatever situation we face. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. First, sorry, James chapter 1 verse 5 tells us if any of you lack wisdom let him ask of God who giveth all men liberally and unbreathly not and it shall be given to him. What am I saying? The wisdom of God. The wisdom of God. We need it. It's a prerequisite for favor. May wisdom reign in our lives. In whatever area God blesses us to be. The wisdom to handle situation. The wisdom to handle people. The wisdom. The wisdom. Even when Solomon was praying to God. He said, Lord, that you might give me wisdom. So that I know how to handle your people. You know, that's what, his, what was his request. So that I can have wisdom ability, capability, and know-how to handle your people. Then God said, because of us, that I'll give you more. I'll give you nations. I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you riches. What am I saying this morning? The wisdom of God. We must ask for it. That Lord, give me wisdom to handle my family. Wisdom to handle myself at the workplace. Wisdom to handle myself in the work of the ministry. Wisdom. Because the wisdom of God will bring favor. The wisdom of God will bring promotion. The wisdom of God will bring increase on your way. Oh, glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I see you increasing in wisdom. I see you developing yourself in wisdom. I see yourself dedicating yourself, giving yourself to the word of God, sitting on the word of God, you know, trying to, to, to get wisdom from God, praying for wisdom so that our favor can be established. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I pray and I declare as it was of our Lord Jesus Christ that he grew in wisdom and in stature. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. He says, and, and Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and the favor of God and the favor of men. May that be our portion in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. <clears throat> hallelujah. <clears throat> hallelujah, glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus, hallelujah, glory to Jesus. I want us to go to Acts chapter 7, verse 10. Acts chapter 7, verse 10. The Bible says, And delivered him from all his distresses, affliction, and won him goodwill and favor and wisdom and understanding in the sight of Pharaoh. It was talking about Joseph. He says, and delivered him from all distress, affliction, and won him goodwill and favor and wisdom and understanding in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, who made him a governor of Egypt and of his house. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. That was the portion, you know, of, that was the portion of Joseph. If we go to Genesis chapter 39, verse 21. The Bible tells us that, but the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor. So he showed him mercy and gave him favor, you know, in the sight of the, of the prisoner. Hallelujah. He showed him, he showed him mercy. He showed him mercy. How was this, <clears throat> how was this favor activated? It was activated through the mercies of God. We want to pray as we pray for ourselves. Father, in my difficult situation, in my difficult 
times, in my trying times, Lord, show me mercy. Lord, show me mercy. Lord, show me mercy. Your mercy which will bring favor. It's through your mercy that I can be favored. Out of supernatural favor, which will bring me out of difficult problem. Yes, so how was this favor activated? It was activated through the mercy of God on the young man. Yes, we want to pray as we pray for ourselves that Lord, let your mercy reign. Let your mercy reign. It's not about my right, but it's your mercy. The Bible says he shows mercy to him he chooses to show mercy. You know, that's the scripture. He shows mercy to him who chooses to show mercy. So as we pray, we say, Lord, may your mercy abide in our lives. Activate, Lord, you know, you know, you know, activate that favor through asking for the mercy of God. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. If we go to Exodus chapter 12, verse 36, the Bible says, The Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptian so that they gave them they, they gave so that what they asked, they gave them what they asked, and they stripped the Egyptian of everything. Oh, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, hallelujah. They stripped them of their wealth, glory to Jesus. It was irresistible, you know, gift, you know, from God. It was an irresisted gift which came from God. We want to pray that, Lord, let your mercy, that when I say things, I'll be favored. So how do we activate the favor of God? Through prayer, asking for the mess of God to abide, to abide. As he saw it to the children of Israel, that he stripped the Egyptian of their wealth. As you go to the marketplace, as you are a marketplace apostle, as you go in the marketplace to take the wealth of the wicked to come to the kingdom so that the gospel can go to the next level there is need for the favor of god so we need to pray for the mercy for our brothers and sisters in the marketplace so that people can favor them that people can favor them so that people can face them so that the kingdom of god can be established it's all by his mercy it's all by his mercy god allowed it between the Egyptian and the Israelites. He made it to happen. The Egyptian, I mean, had made the Israelites slaves. And Jesus said, I mean, the word says, you know, I have heard the cries of my people, the affliction of my people. When Moses was sent to deliver them, you know, it was not a good season. They were slaves. Their children were slaves. Everything was slaves. But it came a time when the favor of God came, when his mercy had fallen on them, that, you know, he made them to now get what the Egyptians had. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May people favor you. You know, in your time of trouble, even those who are against you in the marketplace, in your department, in your industry, wherever you meet them, may the mess of God make sure that you are favored wherever you are. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. It's not about us. Not when we are weak. He, when we are weak, he is strong. And his strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? It is important to understand that you know, God has to activate that favor for me, for my children. Yes, it is him. So when I pray, I pray for mercy that God, may your favor be activated in my life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. If you are there with me, still say Amen. You carry the ir ir irresistible favor of God. You are shielded with favor. Yes, clothed you with favor so that wherever you go, you know, you are covered in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I see you increasing in favor with God as you increase in wisdom. I see you increasing in with favor with God as God's mercy is upon you mightily. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, all glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, when you also listen to this one, when you accept difficult assignments, God gives you, God will give you his ability. God calls us. I was so blessed last night when Pastor Tim was, was, <clears throat> was, was ministering. 
He said, when God wants to, to call you, he doesn't call you or give you an, an instruction. You know, he does it when you are separated, when you are alone, when you are on your own. God gives you an instruction. It's up to you to say, here I am, and take the instruction. As you take God's instruction, God will promote you. God will visit you. So there's a place where you're supposed to be alone with God not with a group on your own, so that you can hear what God says, so that you can do what God wants you to do, so that God can separate you, and God, you can go deeper with God. So what am I trying to say? As I, <clears throat> as I say what was said yesterday by the men of God, I'm saying God in his, the secret place can give you assignments which look difficult for you. Normally, God doesn't give you an assignment, a project, a business, a desire, which fits in your own <clears throat> ability. If it's like that, it's not God. <clears throat> God is bigger than us. When he gives us an ability, when he gives us a job, when he gives us a ministry, when he gives us a business, a family, whatever he gives you, he also gives you the ability and the favor. Hallelujah. Let's go to first. Luke chapter 1 verse 29 Luke chapter 1 <clears throat> verse 29 it says but when she saw him she was greatly troubled and disturbed and confused at what he had said and kept revolving in her mind what such a greeting might, might mean and the angel said to her do not be afraid Mary for you are highly favored you have found grace. Hallelujah. Do not be afraid, Mary. For you, you, have, you have found grace. Free spontaneous absolute favor and loving kindness with God. You have found favor with God. You know, I, I was reading Amplified. You have found favor with God. Hallelujah. And listen, you will become pregnant and <clears throat> give birth to the son. And you shall call him Jesus. What am I saying then? He said, you have found absolute favor with God. Hallelujah. It was a difficult moment. But he says, you have found favor. Hallelujah. But Mary, it was difficult for her. She said in verse 34. Hallelujah. She says in verse 34. <clears throat> then Mary said unto him, how shall it be, seeing I have not any man? And the angel answered and said to him, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power from all high shall overshadow thee. Therefore, the holy thing shall be born and shall be called the Son of God. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, say, your hand made the Lord. Be it to you as according to thy word. And the angel departed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God sometimes gives us difficult instruction, difficult situation, difficult assignment. This was difficult to this young lady. But as the angel came, she said, you have found favor. I want, as I close, I want to speak to somebody under the sound of my voice. You know, accepting godly assignments, difficult assignments, which seems, you know, you can't explain them in the natural realm. At the moment, we activate the favor of God. I speak to somebody with the call of God on your life. I speak to somebody. God is telling you to do things around your life. Fear not. <clears throat> Hear what God is telling you to do. Do it. His grace is sufficient for you. His favor is sufficient for you. His favor is sufficient for you. As we obey, favor is released. We activate favor through obedience. We activate favor through following what God says to us. So as we close this morning, I just want you to pray with me. Say, Lord, help me in my life that I walk in wisdom, in that career, in whatever God has called you to be. May you have multiple wisdom, wisdom of God, wisdom of the things of this world, so that you can know how to execute your duty and favor follow you. I want you to pray and say, Father, thank you for wisdom. You know, it's following, I mean, for, for, for favor, it's following me through obedience. I will obey you. Whatever you tell me to do, I will do it. Because I know as I obey difficult assignment, seemingly difficult things in my life, which I can't handle in my own capacity, your grace is sufficient and your favor will go before me. Your favor will speak on my behalf as it has in the 
case of Mary. It is was in the case of Esther. The favor of God spoke for her. I want you to pray for yourself. And Father, thank you, your mercy, which makes favor to come, may it be upon my life. Oh, let's pray. Father, thank you. We give you honor for your favor, for your favor. Let your favor be activated. Your strange favor in this season. Your strange favor is in this season. Such as people just see it's the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in our eyes. We give you honor, give you praise for ability to activate favor, for ability to sit down in the scripture, to be studious in our different areas, so that the wisdom of God will take us through, so that the wisdom of God, through the wisdom of God, will know how to do things and what to do, so that promotion will come our way. I see promotion, you know, in the marketplace. I see promotion in different projects God has given us. Why? Because the favor of God is operating in our lives. God bless you. Good morning. We can go in the peace of the Lord. Before we go, I want to pray with somebody. If you are not born again, the wisdom of God, the favor of God will not work in your life. I want you to pray with me and say, Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be the Lord and the Savior of my life with my mouth. With my heart, I believe. With my mouth, I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless you. Good morning. Go and flow in the favor of God. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Ancient of days, my trust. Hey, yeah.